My name is uh, Francis Spinelli. I am a Professor of Personalized Medicine and Associate Dean at the University of South Carolina School of Medicine. And I'm here in Boston, Massachusetts, and I just presented a talk uh, where we were distinguishing and identifying um, very common themes between cancer and heart failure progression. Most importantly, we were talking about how we might be able to harness both our molecular, diagnostic, and therapeutic insight that we've been gaining from the cancer world and how we might be able to apply those insights uh, to patients that are um, developing and suffering from heart failure. One of the most interesting things is the identification of a, a particular cell type that occurs in cancer. It's called the cancer-associated fibroblast. Now, these cell types are proliferating and growing in great numbers in patients with uh, severe malignant cancers. Interestingly, those cancer-associated fibroblasts are now being recognized in the heart of patients with developing heart failure. And so if we could take that observation and start considering some of the chemotherapeutics which are targeting these cancer-associated fibroblasts and take those type of drug treatments forward and think about that in terms of a chemotherapy for heart failure. So uh, the real big take-home message from my presentation was we should start thinking about heart failure and heart failure progression as a form of malignancy. And if that's true, then maybe we can harness some of the new and novel chemotherapeutics that are being used in heart failure, I mean, excuse me, in, in, in cancer, and be able to apply those in heart failure and perhaps drive heart failure into remission. Very much the same type of concept uh, in, in cancer therapeutics. So there are a couple of uh, important observations from the presentation that I'd like to be, uh, particularly emphasize. The first one is can we use some of our insights uh, in patients from cancer in order to develop more improved diagnostic uh, approaches for patients with heart failure. And one of those is new molecular imaging. And we uh, uh, and others have now identified that you can use uh, magnetic resonance imaging as well as new uh, radio-labeled uh, molecular imaging to really visualize how dramatic changes are occurring in the myocardium of patients with heart failure. And interestingly, when we do that, how much they parallel the changes in um, these, 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 these enzymes in the system in patients with cancer. In fact, when we do imaging in patients with solid tumors, for example, and we do the same type of imaging in patients with heart failure, they almost look identical, which means that some of the processes that are going on in the heart failure tissue are very similarly going on in um, tumor progression in patients with cancer. Another important uh, idea is there is a new uh, significant therapeutic pathway that's uh, achieving great success in patients in cancer, and that is the idea of tumor vaccines. And tumor vaccines are basically using uh, an antibody approach or an immunologic agent and tag it to potentially a, a specific chemotherapeutic toxin that is going after a specific cell type. Well, there are some of these chemotherapeutic agents, these vaccines, that actually go after some of these uh, cancer-associated fibroblasts. Since we know these cancer-associated fibroblasts are very similar to the fibroblasts that are growing up in patients with heart failure, then maybe some of these uh, new uh, cancer vaccines could be translated in terms of treatment potential uh, for patients with developing heart failure.